and then the world. England is important for you to say, we are the blues band, are we going to say, we're going to play the blues there? Well, if we can turn it around in England, we can turn it around anywhere. Yeah. Because it's so hard in the UK to make a career out Especially of it. Especially when you come from the UK. Yeah. You don't get appreciated, you don't get paid, you don't get fed. You get free beer. And it's a different story. Yeah, if we can cool. kind of create that in the UK. I didn't get any free beer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you a free beer. But if we can create that in the UK, then, you know, that's a good start. No, but it's, it's more than making a way of living. It's it's, yeah. not, well, it's not it's not a free beer or getting paid. It's 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 it's, it's, it's here. It's, uh, yes. it's yeah. the blues it's hard to get. It's the UK scene so commercialised and so diffracted just now. There's it's the way they look at it is the people that are in charge of the scene look at making money out of the scene. So they'll put like five boys out there. These five boys have four or five singles. They're old. They'll put them in one side. They'll take another new five boys. The same stuff and they'll sell and they're old and you've got these kids that are getting careers that last about a year and they're being pushed aside and the, the public don't quite get the idea that this has been sold to them that they're not going out and find it when they find the music somebody said to me the other day he said I've, first time I heard blues he said I never turned my back on it and he said when blues gets that phases stuff come and go but blues is a music when you actually find blues it stays with you and you go and you find different types of blues because it's been around for so and every, long. And everything's brought from that. And everything it? comes from that. And it's just that thing. Blues people stay. outside and that's and that's a little bit where you are now bend over and then to the right you see on the, in, on the inside yard it's Joe Bonamassa he played the Royal Albert Hall a couple of weeks ago uh, a couple of months ago a few days behind Ospel and there's um, Steve Winwood tomorrow is John Mayle uh, Jeff Beck and Hokey joint <laughs> I guess you got a poster on b above your bed isn't it <laughs> Poster is the uh, cent centerpiece of our uh, of our fireplaces. That's for sure. It's great. It's just it's to see that you know we've we've only been going. I mean, we've been signed since November, and the gigs that we've done, and to come to this one, you know, we're we're not opening it up, and you know, you've got Joe Bonamassa, you've got Steve Winwood, you've got you say Jeff Beck, Derek Trucks, Rob Piazza, Rob Piazza, <laughs> yeah. It's just like, you know, what? How? How? You know? How have we got to do this? It doesn't. You know? I think that we're doing something right, definitely. But it's just, it's so, you know, it's like a kind of a dream still. It doesn't, I'm still waiting to wake up, you know. Now that's my question, how you did it? How did you land these gigs in a row this yeah. season? Do you have a good manager? I, I never see yes. a manager around you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, basically, it's Hans and, um, and Margot and Arnold and Misha. Good team behind us. Yeah. With record, when we signed with Cool Buzz, Cool Buzz put us in touch with Tornado Promotions. There's one of their artists and said, look, we signed this band, will you do some work with them? And between them four, they've done absolutely pulled all the socks out to get that stuff because, as he said, they, they believe in what they're doing. Plus, Cool Buzz as an album, they've, they've got lots of different styles in their, in their catalogue. You can't really say it's all very similar, they're very sort of broad sword and palette of colours and blues and stuff that they've got. Right. And we just yeah. fit, we just fitted in with one of the things that they wanted. So being in the right place at the right time. It's just the it's the emotion and the connection with the audience and you know that's the most important thing when you know you, you play something uh, whether it's like solo or with the band or anything that and the audience gets it and if they get it and you get it then it means so much I think you know you can be playing and this is a, not a sentence by the way <laughs> um, you can play and people you can just go over their heads but you know if, if they get it and you get it then that's that's what it's all about I think is that connection. Playing what's in your heart and meaning it. There's your sentence. <laughs> I'm just having a good time, man. I'm just, <laughs> just following my nose. I've been doing this a long time. About, I don't 
know, 12 years, just trying to get to this kind of point with different bands and what have you. And to find a band like this, which is essentially just a bunch of mates, which makes it even more special. It's not hard work. It's enjoyable, it's pleasurable. And just going out there and entertaining crowds, just doing what I do. I've done other jobs, but man, this is, <laughs> this is the way I want to go. Yeah, this, this ain't no pickup band like a lot of bands are, you know. This is a, a real band and we're all mates, you know. And, that, and that's how we can play our own real blues, because they're our blues. And we're just trying to get people to like it, you know. Trying to get as many people to like as we can, make it a common denominator, not just to blues, but to everything, you know. Um, my question for you was was still for Hokey Joint. Um, my guess is you're the cement that this, this house is built on. For Hokey Joint, you're the cement because you're the old wise guy who who can <laughs> who who tone them down if they want to, or get lost in them. But they 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 they, they don't make you crazy anymore. You you've been there, done that. I just like things to flow, and I let things flow when I when I can. You know, that's it really. <laughs> It's people's music played for by five normal people, slightly normal people, yeah, <laughs> who just all love and, and feel the same music and we, as we say in our press pack, we just want to take the blues to the masses. Second album, when can we expect that? We expect another slow burn, I suppose, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, gradually yeah. creep into it's, more it's people's minds together, and, and we're lives. starting to think about it and how we should approach it and do it the right and proper way, I guess. Not rushing Whatever that is, but we'll just do it our way. <laughs> I think we, we need to put quite a lot of songs to it towards it and choose the best songs you know don't kind of throw things in for the sake of it just kind of do it and you know if, if there's a good album of songs you know some might get on it but don't get on it but you know we'll, well see what happens we get the chance to test it out on people before we put it out like yeah. and some of the songs we played today will be on that next album you know like bang bang well, you there's a few know. others that we didn't play today that we often play that we more or less got an album and it's already going down well with quite a lot of people, so I think this next album will be a bit better than the first one. Oh, but that, with those wise words, <laughs> you're gonna end up this interview. But that's, my guess is it's not the last time we've seen you uh, around in Europe, and we interview you. Thank you very much. Hope.